Hi everyone and you're welcome to today's uh, leadership training for network marketers all right or if you are out there thinking of starting a business using the network marketing model this video is for you my name remains K Billions Consultants and you can always reach us on this number plus two three four eight one zero four nine seven six five zero nine so in the next 20 minutes or thereabouts i'm going to be breaking it down uh what are the challenges some persons feel how to become face how to become uh an mlm tycoon and also succeed massively don't forget kbls consultants we train people on diverse streams of income ranging from uh, agriculture real estate affiliate marketing network marketing foreign exchange e-commerce traditional businesses sales and leadership skills so do well to go through uh, some of our content that we have had over time on our youtube page the kbillions consultants now let's dive into the business of the day which is network marketing what is network marketing network marketing simply is a business of the 21st century and if you are in this line of business i want to tell you congratulations because you have made a best decision so what network marketing means or multi-level marketing which people termed as mlm is one of the fastest yet most misunderstood method of moving products in today's uh, economy right and marketing means simply means to move a product or services from a manufacturer or producer to the consumer all right so multi-level refers to the system of compensation provided to those persons who are causing the product to move or the service to be provided and multi simply means more than one while level refers to generation so if you are in multi-level marketing just know that you should not be alone in that your business you should duplicate because the duplication starts from you and not from the person who invited you to that uh, company so you need to create generation it is not an investment and this is where many people get it wrong and they fall into schemes that get their fingers burnt you need to know that it is generation and that generation must start from you you must start to move the products or the service while you train other persons to do the same and you get compensated uh in in, in that format so their product journey in mlm we start from the manufacturer from manufacturer to you you are the gap between the company and also the consumer you become the gap all right and in the traditional way you are not the gap there's manufacturer there's advertising which the company will pay high budget for it before it reached to you now in these settings of the traditional business you are the only one going to the retail shop or probably going to manufacturer to become a retailer and you bear all those costs alone but in the network marketing sector you are not the only one publicizing it you have tens you have thousands you have tens of thousands of people that are doing the same thing and creating the awareness public awareness for that commodity or that product to move or the services are being rendered now many people have gotten their fingers burnt in the name of mlm so i want to show you the classification of mlm and what you need to know before you join a company all right now i'm talking about the classification the years of existence or operation the expansion model the products the marketing plan and the millionaires they have created already we have what they call the giants. The giants are in more than 30, 30 years. They are more than 30 years, more than 30 countries. They have unique and amazing products. 
and their marketing plan is good they have created thousands of millionaires and you can see these companies some of them are still in existence currently which you can do your research and check out for the companies that have stayed more than 30 years you will see them but sometimes their marketing plan just as i yeah just as is mentioned here that it is good because at first it was good some of them have stick to one marketing plan some of them refuse to upgrade and fall into the same sector and that is why some of them are still in existence all right to date even if the marketing plan is not as uh, desirable as you may want but their marketing plan is not still bad all right now we have what is called the scammers the scam this company only exists for six to two years to tell people that okay they want to run this program then less than 10 countries no product or generic product and many people fall for this because of their lucrative compensation plan make payment of ten dollars and get one thousand dollars come on who won't want to do that? So this marketing compensation plan have made a lot of persons to go rich and poor, whilst only few persons succeed. That is why they have their millionaires in the hundreds. But after two years, they are, if they are good enough, they last two years. Otherwise, one year, they are already gone. Now we have the never heard of. These people, they are in more than five countries. Uh, less than 10 um, more than five years rather less than 10 years they have good marketing plan their composition uh, they have good products but their marketing plan is very hard very difficult for people to get connected to it and by so doing they raise less than hundred of millionaires and we have the last people the last sets which is called the sleeping giant of course every company starts from the first day to first month to first year but you need to have a record of what you're doing within this period now this company the sleeping giants they are less than 10 years in existence they have presence in more than 10 countries unique composition plan lucrative uh, unique products, lucrative compensation plan, and they have produced hundreds of millionaires within the space. So, if somebody is trying to tell you to join a particular company, try to find out these reasons because network marketing itself, the first letter N, signifies your efforts, your leverage, and your income. So getting started, your effort is always more than your income in your first year, except you have a team of people that are following you to a particular business. And don't forget, people are what you need in this opportunity. Now, in your second year, you your efforts now start enjoying you start enjoying leverage because your income is coming up and your effort is reducing the gap in between your effort and your income is called the leverage the leverage that is what you earn the more you have people pushing this business the more your earnings increases and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube page if this uh presentation have been insightful the subscription button is below just click on the subscription button and a bell will pop up click on that bell to turn on notification to get more content as i drop uh weekly now your third year, your fourth year, your fifth year, you see your earnings at fifth year is more than your effort. That is why many people will remain consistent in a particular company for more than two, three years. They are always successful. But when you see somebody putting in effort in six months and you are out to another company six months, you are out to another company six months and you will see that person and the result in that person's life will not commensurate at all. So that is why I do encourage people because to balance their network. And in balancing your network, it has to do with income, active distributors and your leadership skill, your leadership role. Remember, your distributorship must be active. And there are four C's of an active distributor. Number one is committed to attending events, 
continuous product movement, consistent binary movement depending on your comp plan. Uh, some compensation plan is metrics, some is binary. So depending on your uh, compensation plan, know the movement of points in your company. Then constant communication with your upline and your downlines. You need to exhibit this for your distributors to be active. All right. Now let's move further. Uh, in still balancing, after you have balanced the distributorship, then you need to check your leadership role as an upline because I believe I'm talking to uh, prospective uh, leaders here because what makes you a leader is not just by signing up, it's by taking responsibility and being influential. And being an influential upline, what does it mean? It's not just about the position you take. It is about your influence. Never resist influence. Networking is not about referral. This is what many people don't know. When I say, I'm into network marketing or I'm into networking. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want to hear. No, it's not about referral. It's about the number of people you keep in business by making those persons successful because those persons will be your own chain and your own network, your evidence and testimony that these people come in with nothing and they are successful through my work, through my leadership. All right. So you need to understand that. All right. Now, if you think you are leading and no one is following you, then you are just taking a walk. There must be a need to duplicate. You don't do it all by yourself. That is why it is called level, multi-level, multi-generation. You need to have a generation of people who are doing the exact thing, following the blueprint and being successful just the way you are. Leaders can duplicate by building characters. Your characters also is uh, needed in this business and increase your value. Be the most valuable upline. So let's continue uh, in this page. So we have four hours of most valuable upline. The first is results. You need to create an atmosphere of results that is the first you need to do the second here is called a relationship you need to have the right relationship as an upline you need to reinforce and you need to be reserved you need to be reserved don't forget again you need to click on the subscription button of k billions consultant on youtube page and turn on the notification to get valuable content like this you need to have results. That is the first which I've talked about. So being trustworthy reflects a result-oriented upline. If you're an upline currently and people cannot trust you with money, they cannot trust you with their prospects, then you have a questionable spirit. So when they can trust you, they can always guide you when you want to fall. They can be your shield, just like you're seeing this picture. But when they can't trust you, whether you fall or not, it doesn't concern anyone. So being trustworthy, you need to be trustworthy in terms of time in terms of money your words your action and if you have scored uh 80 percent in all this that means you are competent in what you do and competence goes beyond words is the leader's ability to say it plan it and do it in such a way that no other person knows how to do it so it goes beyond words so five hours of the most valuable uplines if you are one number one is relationship people will follow you because they love to when you create a conducive atmospheric relationship they are going to follow you no matter what people will follow you because of what you have done and accomplished when it comes to results all right people will follow you because of what you have done for them how you have reproduced them you have made them who they are and they are highly successful so they will always follow you remake people will follow you because of your new ideas as an upline as a leader you shouldn't apply the same method every year every time come up with a new idea have a community of people who are thinkers just like you are and 
you, people will definitely follow you. And people will respect you because of who you are and what you represent to them in the aspect of respect. So there are six things you need in a business, in building your business. Number one is a clear vision. Your vision needs to be clear like the day. You need to know where you're going, how you want to get there, who you are going there with. It has to be clear. Number two is you need to share those vision to the people who believe in it. You need to call them and say, hey, guys, this vision is what the team stands for. This is what we are going to accomplish, and we have to rock with it. You need to execute it. Having and sharing vision is not enough, but going out to make sure that this vision, these dreams are achievable, they are attainable, is what you and the team should always work on. And don't forget to subscribe to KBillion's consultant youtube page number four is you need to lead by inspiration lead by inspiration inspire others be a mentor that they want to be show them by result and train and support your team training is the key you train people you support them you make sure they are successful and you share the risks and reward also with those who are prepared to share your dream and contribute resources and energy to it share your risks and reward to only those people who believes in it i do tell people that success means different to different people so to you what makes what you think uh, or your time to become successful may not exactly mean what i needed all right if you send two children to school right now and the first came with one of them came home with the the last position of the class and the second came up with first position in the class and the one that comes home with first always reads the one that comes home with the last always plays and is good at playing this one is good at reading so would you term to become successful yes you will say the one that came home with the first position, right? That is what is affecting a lot of persons in this industry and in the world at large. Because you term success to become what you want and not what the person is terming his or her success. Now, the person that come home with the last position have seen himself to become successful in going to school to play. You did not ask him or her what exactly do you want out of life what exactly do you want to do you are trying to put such person in your line of being successful and that actually is not what is happening and that has been the thing that have limited a lot of persons uh in the world so success to some persons it comes in the aspect of finance some is comfort when they are comfortable they are eating daily square meal they don't want any other problem they don't want to look for more money. They have a farm where they cultivate, and that is enough. They are successful. Some persons is to actualize a particular dream, maybe to become a musician or to sing in a concert, and that is enough. And some persons is to attain a purpose. So you need to look for what actually is success to you. What is success to you? In life, there's, there's a formula for becoming wealthy and becoming successful i call it world flow and it is a k is equals to k plus s plus t plus e plus a raised to power p divided by e m e g and the k stands for knowledge skill talent uh education the a is advantage the p is passion e m is emotion e g is ego and ak is acknowledgement of god all right because there must be the g factor in what we do now you can have the entire knowledge you can have skills you can have talent you can have education you can have advantage over others but if you don't know how to utilize these five factors you may not be successful 
if you utilize it well you'll be successful if you don't utilize it you will not be successful and most importantly in your journey of success the em and eg is what you should watch out for your emotion and ego when you're doing business you don't fix in all emotion you don't attach ego to it you have to be humble you have to know what you're doing and passion also sometimes passion may not be what brings in food to your table but when you have passion on a particular a line or a particular skill and definitely i'm telling you your success is guaranteed martin luther king said if you can't fly then run in this industry in this business if you cannot fly you run if you can't run then you walk if you can't walk you crawl but whatever you do you have to keep moving forward you have to keep moving forward you have to keep moving forward and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube page my youtube page is kbillions consultant and i would like to mentor and be with you so last but not the least don't let negative and toxic people rent space in your head once they are trying to do that rent uh raise the rent and what kick them out this is by robots uh too don't let people to talk negative about you to down talk you when you have made up your mind that you want to do this opportunity and you want to succeed in it and i believe god and i believe you that you are going to succeed in whatever you do i remain k billion consultant again and thank you for listening do us well to subscribe if this video have been impactful send um the copy to people let them watch send it to your team it will encourage them and we hope to see you at the top so thank you god bless